To draw the Lewis structure for CaSO4, that's calcium sulfate, we need to recognize that calcium is a metal and then S and O, those are nonmetals. So when we have a metal bonded to a group of nonmetals, we have an ionic compound. The SO4, that's the sulfate, that's a polyatomic ion, a group of nonmetals. So we'll write Ca for calcium, and then we'll put the sulfate ion next to it. We said calcium is a metal, and then we had a group of nonmetals here with the sulfate ion. That means it's an ionic compound, and the electrons, the valence electrons, are going to be transferred from the metal to the nonmetals. So calcium, it's in group 2 on the periodic table. It has two valence electrons. It'll transfer those to the sulfate. When it does, it's lost two electrons, and electrons are negative. So it lost two negative charges. It's now 2 plus. And you can see that if you have the 2 plus and the 2 minus, that equals 0, because calcium sulfate, that's a neutral molecule. So we have the 2 plus and the 2 minus. Those are opposite charges, and they'll attract and form the ionic bond. We draw the brackets to show that the calcium, it lost those valence electrons, and that they're not sharing valence electrons like in a covalent bond. The Lewis structure we've drawn here for CaSO4, this is called a formula unit. With ionic compounds, they have a bunch of these formula units in a regularly repeating pattern called a crystal. So what we've drawn is one formula unit in that crystal. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for CaSO4, calcium sulfate. Thanks for watching.